the time value of money. One of the fundamental principles of finance is that the objective of corporate financial decision making is to maximise the value of the firm. In contemplating any decision or course of action, we need to compare the dollar value of the benefit against the dollar value of the cost. If the dollar value of the benefit exceeds the dollar value of the cost, then going ahead with that decision or course of action will increase the value of the firm. Unfortunately, financial decision making often involves more than just comparing numbers of dollars. As we shall see, the point in time at which a sum of money is paid or received affects its value. And therefore, before making a comparison, we need to ensure that the value of the costs and the value of the benefits are expressed in the same terms. Cash today. The reason for this is that money has time value. This means that a dollar today is worth more than a dollar tomorrow. The reason for this is that today's dollar can be invested and will be worth more than one dollar in the future. We can therefore say that the interest rate is a measure of the time value of money. The higher the interest rate, the greater the time value of money and the greater the difference between the value of a dollar today and the value of a dollar at some point in the future. We can illustrate this with a simple example. You are given the opportunity to invest $100,000 with a guaranteed return of $105,000 in one year. Would you undertake this investment? The correct answer should be that you don't know. We can't possibly answer this question without knowing the current level of interest rates or what we could earn from an alternative investment. If you answered either yes or no because this either did or did not sound like a good investment, you were probably including your knowledge of current interest rate levels in your calculation. But without such information, we cannot make a rational decision. Let's consider a different example. You are offered the same investment, but now we know that your bank is offering an interest rate of 10% per annum on deposits. Would you undertake this investment? In this case, the answer is no. Clearly, if you can earn $10,000 by putting your money in the bank, you would be worse off if you undertook this investment instead. Using the concept of the time value of money, we can say that if the interest rate is 10%, $100 today is equivalent to $110,000 in one year. The number of dollars is different, but the value is the same. We can use this formula to relate a cash flow received today to its future value. In this formula, C represents today's cash flow and R is the interest rate over the period between today and the future. This means we can convert $1 today into 1 plus R dollars in the future. 1 plus R is what we call the interest rate factor. And we can use it to convert cash flows from one period of time to another. Here we can see how to use this equation to calculate the future value of $100,000 given an interest rate of 10%. We can change this formula by dividing both sides of the equation by 1 plus R and this gives us a formula for the present value of a future cash flow. Here we can see how to use this equation to calculate the present value of $110,000 given an interest rate of 10%. If we apply this formula to the investment we considered in the previous examples, we can see that if the interest rate is 10%, the present value of $105,000 is $95,455. Now that we have all cash flows from that investment in terms of cash today, we can see that the cost of the investment is $100,000, and the benefit of the investment 
in present value terms is $95,455. Clearly the cost outweighs the benefit and we should not proceed with this investment. Let's do one final example before we finish this module. You are offered the chance to invest $50,000 in return for which you will receive $60,000 in one year. The current interest rate is 12% per annum. What is the present value of this investment? The present value of the future cash flow is $53,571. In this case, the benefit outweighs the cost and therefore you would accept this investment.